Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to have a look at what will happen if car battery cables are interchanged while connecting to the car battery. Well, this is a very critical question because the consequences are almost always severe and instantaneous. In short, interchanging the battery cables, connecting positive to negative and negative to positive creates a condition known as a reverse polarity. Now, this causes massive uncontrolled surge of electric current leading to catastrophic damage to your vehicle's electrical system. Let's have a look at what will exactly happen when reverse polarity happens. The immediate event, a massive short circuit will happen. Well, the dead short we call it. A car battery can deliver an enormous amount of current, often from 500 to 1000 amperes. When you connect the battery cables backwards, you are essentially creating a direct, extremely low resistance path from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal through the entire car chassis and wiring. This is a dead short circuit. Now, what will this result? This will happen to cause intense heat and spark. This massive current flow generates intense heat instantaneously. You will see large, Dramatic sparks, often described as welding arc at the battery terminals, the moment the second cable is connected. And you will also experience battery damage. The battery itself will suffer. The internal plates are warp, the electrolyte can boil, and in severe cases, the battery can leak, swell, or even explode from the buildup of hydrogen gas spraying sulfuric acid everywhere. This is a serious safety hazard. Especially, the alternator will burn out. You will damage and burn out the rectifier diodes on your car alternator because massive current will be made to pass through those diodes leading to blown up rectifier circuit. When you go to the specific components that get destroyed, Modern car is a network of sensitive electronics. Reverse polarity is one of the worst thing you can do to it. Almost guaranteed to fail is the electronic control unit, the alternator, and fuses and fusible links. Every electronic control unit, every module in your vehicle will get blown up. These are the brains of your car, and they are designed to accept power in a specific polarity. Reverse polarity will instantaneously destroy the delicate microchips and transistors inside the electronic control modules. This includes the engine control unit, ECU, and the transmission control module, TCM, the body control module, BCM, and the anti-lock brake system, ABS module. All this will get destroyed by reverse polarity. So that means if the ECU is destroyed, your car will not run. If the throttle, the, if the transmission control module is blown, transmission may not shift or will go into limp mode. If the body control module is not functional, that will fail to control lights, power windows and other accessories. And the anti-lock brake will also be disabled if the ABS module is blown. The second component that gets destroyed sure to get destroyed is the alternator. Now the alternator, as we have said earlier, contains diodes that act as a one-way valve for electricity. Reverse polarity sends current the wrong way through these diodes, causing them to fail short circuit. This will often cause the alternator to overheat, smoke, and be destroyed permanently. Even if other components survive, the alternator is almost always a casualty if polarity is reversed. So, if momentarily polarity is reversed, it is a sure thing that the diodes will get blown out. And the other thing that will get blown out is fuse and fusible links. The vehicle's protection system will try to react. You will blow many, if not all of the main fuses and fusible links. While this is designed to protect the rest of the system, the damage to the sensitive electronic happens faster than the fuses can blow. And there are also some other components which are more likely to fail, for example, sensors, various sensors such as oxygen sensor, 
position sensors like the crankshaft position sensors and other sensors have internal electronics that are polarity sensitive. Infotainment systems such as the radio, screen and amplifier can be instantly fried if polarity is reversed. Anything that is permanently connected to power like the clock, alarm system and dashboard cluster is at high risk. So, what does it look like when reverse polarity is connected? If someone makes this mistake, the sequence of events is usually loud pop and large spark at the battery, smell of burning plastic or electric smoke from under the hood or from inside the vehicle as wires and components start to overheat, and you will face no start condition. The car will be completely dead or will show cascade of warning lights on the dashboard and possibly you might see smoke from the alternator, from the fuse box or other engine bay components. Then, what can you do if the, ba the battery polarity is reversed? The first thing you should do is disconnect immediately. If you see massive spark, disconnect the cable you just connected right away. The shorter the time the circuit is connected, the less damage that will occur. And don't try to start the car. This will only cause more damage. And assess the damage. Visually inspect for melted wires, smoking alternator and blown fuse. Don't reconnect the battery correctly and try to start it. Call a professional. This is not a simple fix. The car must be towed to a qualified mechanic or a dealership. A technician will need to perform a thorough diagnostic to determine the full extent of the damage. Well, if you are concerned with the cost of the mistake, this is not a cheap error. The rapid bill can easily run into thousands of dollars as it may require new alternator, new battery, multiple electronic control units, rewiring of damaged circuits and extensive diagnostic labor is required. So, connecting battery cable backward is a catastrophic mistake that causes severe and expensive damage to a vehicle's electrical system. Always double check Positive cable, usually red, should be connected to the battery positive terminal. Negative cable, usually black, should only be connected to the negative battery terminal. Otherwise, if someone interchange them, that will cause reverse polarity, which is deadly. Massive short circuit, massive blow up, and expensive repair will happen. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you in this video regarding what will happen if car cable, battery cable is interchanged while connecting to the battery. If you find this video helpful and if you enjoy what has been presented, do smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing. Turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.